In part two of this video series about sorting algorithms, we will take a look at merge sort algorithm. The merge sort algorithm has two stages. In stage one, it repeatedly or recursively divides unsorted list into smaller sublists until the sublists become so small that each of these just have one item in them. In stage two, each pair of sublists is repeatedly merged to form new sorted sublists, putting items in the list in order until all the sublists are merged into one list. Merging the final two sublists form the sorted list. Merge sort algorithm is also known as divide and conquer, as you repeatedly divide the list into smaller sublists to make it easier to conquer or solve the problem. Steps in the merge sort algorithm are as below. Divide the list into two smaller sublists. Repeatedly divide these sublists into even smaller sublists until each sublist has only one item left. Repeatedly merge each pair of sublists to form new sorted sublist by putting items in the list in the correct order while merging until there are no more sublists left to merge. This will produce the final sorted list. Let's take an example of the same unsorted list that we used in bubble sort example and this time apply the steps in the merge sort algorithm to sort the list. The unsorted list of numbers 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 and 5 need to be sorted in ascending order. That is, rearrange the numbers in the list so that they are in order of smallest to largest. Now let's work through the steps in the merge sort algorithm. As I mentioned earlier, merge sort algorithm has two stages. In the first stage, we will repeatedly divide the list into smaller sublists. Let's divide the list into two sublists, as you can see on the screen. The first sublist has numbers 7, 1, 2 and 3, and the second sublist has numbers 4, 9 and 5. Now divide first, first sublist comprising of numbers 7, 1, 2 and 3 into two sublists with the first one containing numbers 7 and 1, and second one containing numbers 2 and 3. Do the same to the second sublist, which has numbers 4, 9 and 5, and the result is two sublists, with the first one comprising of numbers 4 and 9, and second one comprising of just number 5. Let's divide these sublists further. Dividing sublist containing numbers 7 and 1 will produce two sublists containing one number each. First one containing number 7 and second one containing number 1. That is, sublists with just one item each. Doing the same on the other will also produce sublists with just one item each. So we now have seven sublists each containing just one number. In the second stage, we will repeatedly merge the pair of sublists, putting items in the correct order before merging to form new sorted sublists. Let's start by merging sublists which contain 7 and 1. Now since 7 is larger than 1, and we want to sort the list in ascending order, we swap the numbers 7 and 1 before we merge the sublists, so that they are in the correct order. Now let's merge sublists that contain 2 and 3. Since 2 and 3 are in the correct order, that is, 2 is smaller than 3, we do not need to swap them before merging. We can merge 4 and 9 in the same way, and no swapping is required since 4 is smaller than 9. We now have 4 sublists, First one with numbers 1 and 7, second one with numbers 2 and 3, third one with numbers 4 and 9, and fifth one with just number 5. Let's merge each pair of sublists now. Let's merge sublists containing numbers 1 and 7 with sublists containing numbers 2 and 3. 
Since 7 should come after 3 in the sort order, algorithm will rearrange the numbers in the correct order as shown on the screen before merging and will form a new sorted sublist comprising of numbers 1, 2, 3 and 7. Let's merge sublists containing number 4 and 5 with sublists containing just the number 5. Since 5 should be between 4 and 9 in the sort order, algorithm swaps position of 5 and 9 as shown on the screen before merging and will form a new sorted sublist comprising of numbers 4, 5 and 9. Now we have just two sublists left. First one with numbers 1, 2, 3 and 7 and second one with numbers 4, 5 and 9. Let's merge these two together to form the final sorted list. While doing that algorithm, we'll rearrange numbers so that number 7 is between 5 and 9, as that is the correct sort order. You can see on the screen. At the end of this final merge, our list is now sorted. I hope you now understand how the merge sort algorithm works. Let's now compare bubble sort with merge sort. In most cases, merge sort will take less time to sort the list than bubble sort, as bubble sort has to typically make several passes before the list could be sorted. So merge sort wins in terms of time. Bubble sort is more efficient in terms of memory, as the data is sorted within the list, whereas merge sort requires more memory, as it creates copies of the list during sorting operation, while dividing lists into sublists.